Hi, my name is Richard Ring. I am the Special Collections Librarian at the Providence Public Library. Welcome to my department. We have today a rather historic thing happening, which is a collaboration between the Providence Public Library Special Collections and the AS220 Paul Crott Darkroom, one of their uh, cottage industries. What we're doing is digitizing, that is taking digital photos of glass negatives, which were taken generally in Rhode Island in circa 1900. So they're about 105 years old or so. Half of them come from the Arnold Collection, which was given to Elmwood Public Library in the 1930s. Many of them of, are of houses in Rhode Island, are portraits, are of scenes from various uh, landscapes, Lincoln Woods, that sort of thing. So what the volunteers behind me are actually doing is taking the original negative, which is uh, colloidian glass plate negatives, dusting them off, placing the negative on a light table and shooting it with a digital camera, placing the negative into the enclosure and putting it in these foam-lined archival boxes that we have purchased to house the collection permanently. Uh, the idea is that they will come once a week for two hours. We're hopefully going to shoot about 50 images per session. The collection totals about 2,000 images so that by the late spring or possibly the summer, we will have the entire collection digitized. Well, it's amazing to be able to kind of organize and catalog these for other people to be able to see them. It's also equally amazing to just get to look at them and like the, the method of photography and the things that, that were used as subjects, like in a, in a way of documenting like time and space and local history is like really fascinating to me. I love all of the pictures. I think they're all amazing. I even like the blurry ones, yeah. you know? <laughs> the idea behind this project is both to make these images accessible to the extent that we can and to label them with what we know of them or what we can find out and put them online. The second vision that we have for this collection is to create revenue for both AS220 and the Providence Public Library by offering these uh, photos, a selection of them, to be developed for people who want original contact prints of historic photographs. This is a kind of an exciting and different model from the normal library model of of creating access through grants that you, uh, that you apply for, federal money. This is a more entrepreneurial approach that I am exploring and am happy to be able to explore with AS220. It's, it's an incredibly rewarding activity for me to see parts of the collection come to light, literally, um, and also for them to be able to handle original materials in ways that they just wouldn't be able to in a normal special collections or archival setting. Um, they're interacting with this material. We're talking about potential creative projects based on this material. Um, so it's, it's quite an exciting time. <laughs>